I'm inside London's tube network today, but I'm not here to commute. I'm here to show you something that if you're not from London, well, you might not know about it. You see, London's famous for its tube network. Everybody knows the Piccadilly line, everybody knows the Victoria line, but there's another line that not so many people know about. In fact, it's the shortest line and it only has about 15 million users a year. It only has two stops. This is the Waterloo and City line. The line opened back in 1898, 119 years ago. It goes between Waterloo on the south of the river and what's now called Bank to the north of the river. Until 1940, Bank was known as City Station. That's where the name Waterloo and City comes from. The journey between the two stations is just one and a half miles and it takes just four minutes. Somehow, the Waterloo and City line feels like it's buried down deeper than any of the other tube lines. You have to go through a long network of tunnels to get to the platform. And the trains here are shorter too, just four cars. At the end of every route, the driver gets out and physically moves himself from the carriage at the front to the carriage at the back so that the train can be reversed and go back to its starting point. This is London's shortest and least used underground line, but it's also the most unique.